Welcome back. We're going to pick up right where we left off. This is our second lesson about working with an assembly sketch. We're on the assembly tab and we're going to insert a new part. Now since the assembly sketch was created on the top plane, I'm going to select the top plane. Part 1 is created and we're in sketch editing mode. Let's activate the convert entities command. Let's select the lines that form the outer perimeter of the lid. Let's accept and let's exit our sketch. Go to the Features tab. Activate the Extruded Boss command. Let's select the sketch we just created. Make a 7mm extrusion. And now let's insert a second sketch. Right click on the front plane, New Sketch. Convert Entities. Now when I try to pick up the sketch entities through the solid body, it doesn't work. If you want to do this, what you do is press and hold down the shift key. Now you're able to select the sketch entities. And I'll select the lines that comprise the inner perimeter of the lid. Last one here. Accept and cancel out of the tool. Exit our sketch. Go to the Features tab. Sketch 2 is selected. Activate the Extruded Cut command. Let's reverse the direction. 2 millimeter cut is good. Accept. And activate the fillet command now. Select this edge. Radius 3 millimeters. Accept. Let's insert another sketch. Right click on the front plane, insert sketch. Activate the convert entities command. Hold down the shift key again and let's select our construction circles. Let's accept and exit the sketch. Let's go to the Features tab and activate the Extruded Boss command. We'll make it 7.5 millimeters in depth. And let's accept. Exit Part Editing mode now. Now we're going to insert a second part. Insert Components, New Part. Again, Top Plane. We're in sketch editing mode once again. Let's activate the convert entities command. And here I'll select sketch one. Click accept. And as you see, everything except the construction lines becomes converted. Let's exit our sketch. Features tab, extruded boss. Let's reverse the direction. Make our extrusion 2 millimeters. Accept. And let's exit part editing mode. Now I'm going to hide sketch 1. Let's open up assembly features and select the whole wizard. First, let's go to the positions tab. I'll select this face. We need to place six holes. Let's awaken the center of each circle and place our holes coincident to the center of the construction circles. Next one here. Awaken the center and click. Let's go to the Type tab now. First we choose a hole type. I'll stick with a simple hole. The standard. Let's use ANSI metric. The hole size, I'll work with a diameter of 12 millimeters. End condition, let's choose through all from the drop down menu. Under features scope, I'll use all components and accept. Lastly, let's change the color of our parts. I'd like to make the lid green. OK. And let's change the color of the seal as well. We'll make it black. And let's just rotate our assembly to have a better look. This concludes our second tutorial about working with an assembly sketch.